Hello guys and gals and today we're gonna have a very quick video for you and I'm gonna show you five CMS based applications for the web or CMS is content management systems and the best way to describe that is a user-friendly environment for bloggers or even galleries it allows the user to post posts really quickly and it doesn't require them to know a lot of HTML however the actual in-depth code to it which is PHP uh, CSS, HTML, Java, jQuery, whatever you want to put into it is actually really complicated and sometimes requires either a web designer or a lot of learning for you to know how to use it or even some creation tools that people have developed over the years. But the point of this video is to actually show you five in particular CMS applications that will actually pretty much benefits you in the long run but are also very I can't say which one's better than the other because it's all personal opinion but these five will be open for you to go search up and look for that way you can use them yourself and give yourself your own little advice about it so the first one as you see right here is wordpress.org now a lot of people love wordpress for the many and many and many and many many plugins they have Downside is I've heard a lot of people can get hacked a bit easier compared to the rest of the other CMS applications. It doesn't have a lot of security to it, but it has a lot of functionality. There's a wide variety of themes to choose from. There's even a lot of tutorials out there teaching you how to make themes. However, a lot of them can be confusing. You also have plugins, which will again can actually improve your website like crazy. It could be from gallery from Twitter feeds to Tumblr feeds to caches, uh, security, backups, what have you. It's also very convenient because it's also for the mobile. You can also get a mobile and the support's actually really good. There's also core UI accessibility and a lot of stuff that will help you learn how to work with WordPress. And it's, a, it's something that you have to invest time into but will actually help you in the long run. Now the next one is what tech socials made of and what a lot of other sites David DeFranco has made or some other people have made even people who make galleries have made is Squarespace now I don't know if Squarespace is free nowadays just to use the CMS portion of it but when I went to go register I think two years ago I had to put a two hundred dollar down payment and I wasn't willing to do that but Squarespace does have a cool little interface that allows people to actually do a lot of things much easier to, to get what I mean is you can get a free account and you can actually see what they have to offer as far as the actual interface or the, uh, I think it's called the control panel of the group. So let's take a look at some of the examples here. Uh, we'll say this one. This is a very simple gallery page and shows off a lot of the artwork. Like there's AOL here, object of reality, a polar bear, bears, share, fun. You can view the template and you can actually see how it's made. It's called Avenue and you could start with the design and start making it yourself. Squarespace is actually very professional looking, very simplistic, but I don't know. It looks too plain to me usually. There's not a lot of color and variety, but maybe that's because I'm not a simple person that is easy to please. The next one is very popular around the same with, it's hard to say. Joomla is actually very good as far as the plugins and themes go however it's also one of those I'm not too sure how to explain it in a way it's actually a lot more complicated to learn next to WordPress same with Drupal which is next on our list which is another good one but Joomla does have a lot of theme oriented and businesses to back it up in fact eBay is one of them and IKEA and General Electric's so businesses love to use this one in particular and I guess web designers too so check that one out. It's actually very cool to use. They have a 3.1 that's up now. Same with, uh, I think Squarespace has Squarespace 6. Drupal, again, is one of those same kind of ordeals where it's hard to explain, but it's kind of, it's interesting to look at and it's interesting to learn because you also have the ways of setting it up and working with your own blog. Now some of this stuff, let's go look at some of the sites. Like this one has one of those simple things, big bulky designs, but maybe, maybe again, the design point is how the web designer designs it. Like here's a little map thing for you or software application, how to sell stuff. <clears throat> but a lot of it seems a little bit bulky, but yet professional looking. So Joomla or Drupal does know how to make their sites look more professional. But again, like Squarespace, it seems it tends to be a little bit plain. 
In Concrete 5, I haven't got to use this one personally out of all the bunch, but I've been recommended this by many people who say they like this one because it's a lot easier than the rest to use. There's even a developer's page to actually work with and understand the whole themes and well, and there's a community, there's a marketplace, and you can even buy training enterprise documentation about here we go, Concrete 5 Showcase. See, some of these themes are actually pretty cool to look at because they're a little bit more darker and very very simplistic, dark, but man oh man did they make sure that left align tab was there. So those are five CMS applications that you might want to check out or platforms, whichever you want to call them. Personally, I'm a fan of WordPress still, but to each their own. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was somewhat helpful to you, and I apologize if it wasn't. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.